in this video, I want to go over an effect called the underwater effect. Now, I'm sure you've uh, seen this effect a lot, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just play the video for you and show you um, what the effect actually looks like. So, as you can see right here, this is what the underwater effect looks like. It obviously looks like you're underwater, but it kind of creates this very, like, I would say very like trippy um, effect. But that's what the underwater effect actually looks like. So let's go ahead and just pause the video, head over to the effects panel, and just uncheck it. What you wanna do is you wanna head over to the effects panel, go ahead and click on all, and head down to the search bar, and obviously type in underwater. Now as you can see, here's the effect. Now what you want to do is you want to drag it onto the timeline, adjustment layer, videos, or whatever you're trying to uh, drag it onto. So as you can see right here, as you can see this is what the effect um, looks like right here. So let's go ahead and just mess with a couple of different dials. So let's go ahead and if we put the size all the way back up, as you can see right here, that's what it looks like. It doesn't, qu it doesn't quite look as trippy or as cool. It still looks a little weird, but so it messed with the size. Let's go ahead and bring this size down to about where the middle. Now this is what it looks like. Definitely looks um, a lot better. Let's go ahead and put the size here. As you can see, that looks really, really, really weird. So I would say maybe put it, I would say maybe, uh, uh, maybe two or three is probably the normal size so that's what it looks like that looks a lot uh, normal now you can also increase the speed let's take this uh, speed all the way down as you can see nothing really uh, happens so let's go ahead and drag the speed up here and let's see what that looks like as you can see that obviously looks a lot faster because we increase the speed now let's take the speed and crank it all the way up and let's see how fast it actually looks like. As you can see, that looks really, really weird. I don't encourage you to ever make your video a look anything like that. It's also a mess with the reflection. Obviously, that's just reflection of the item. That looks really, really, really weird. So let's go ahead. Oh, not reflection, uh, refraction. Uh, sorry about that. I uh, misread that. As you can see, that's what it looks like uh, right here. I'm not reflection, it's refraction. So at the end of the day, you can just mess with the size. You can mess with how fast you want it. You can mess with the refraction, or you can also mess, uh, mess with the mix. That's just basically, if you turn back here, the video is normal. So you, as, if you want the full effect, you drag it all the way up. And that's what it pretty much uh, looks like. So that's pretty much the underwater effect. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, giving away a Google Home Mini once it reaches reach 1,000 subscribers. New Final Cut Pro tutorials every single day. See you guys on the next one. Peace.